So I'm just going to kick off now. I think um, enough of housekeeping. Okay. So quitters don't win, winners don't quit. As part of my presentation today, I'm going to be sharing a lot of principles. Uh, some of these principles, you've heard them before. Um, some of them, uh, you've never heard of it. But my goal today is not to share with you um, most of the things that you've never heard before. Um, my goal is to help you behave in a way that you do not currently behave so that you get new results. Um, Albert Einstein said, um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So today I will be sharing a lot of principles. Uh, sometimes these principles, I want you to put it into practice immediately. So one of my most, my favorite uh, principles is quitters don't win, winners don't quit. Um, that quote, I got it from the book Think and Grow Rich. Um, if you've uh, read that book, uh, please type yes in the chat. Uh, type yes if you've read the book uh, Think and Grow Rich. Um, it's a phenomenal book. Uh, it's, it's a life-changing book. Um, I, I was at an event a few weeks ago, Bob Proctor actually came to that event and he said that Think and Grow Rich changed his life. So um, principles is not about you airing it, it's about you practicing it. So let's start practicing today <laughs> with this webinar. So if you stay till the end of this webinar, I've got a big surprise gift for you. Um, so Please remind me in case I forget, but I won't. Um, big surprise gift for you. So talking about um, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, the man who actually inspired Napoleon Hill uh, to write that book is uh, Andrew Carnegie. Some of you may know him. Um, a quick, a quick uh, word about Andrew Carnegie. Uh, he was one of the richest men in the world. Uh, that's more than 100 years ago. Um, he was he left Scotland with his parents at the age of 13, and he got to US, and he started work in the mine at the age of 13. Imagine that. If anyone does that today, <laughs> that parent is going to jail straight away. <laughs> Uh, but Andrew worked in the mine, and his breakthrough actually came when he got a job as a messenger. Uh, when I say somebody's breakthrough is getting a job as a messenger, you know how horrible uh, his previous job was. So anyway, it was that job uh, that he got his breakthrough, because there was a rich man where um, all the messengers on the street, they deliver letters. Uh, that rich man opened his library to all of them. Uh, Andrew grabbed that opportunity with both hands, and you'll find out why I'm telling you that story in a minute. Andrew took that opportunity and he read books on philosophy, on success, books on how to succeed in life, principles of success, principles of the universe. To cut a long story short, Andrew became one of the richest men in the world more than 100 years ago. Actually, they said, um, if you put Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos together, it will still have been richer than the three of them. So that's how rich that man was. Okay, the interesting part is, 
out. After he died, they found a note in his drawer where he wrote that note at the age of 19. And in that note, he said, I'm going to spend half my life accumulating a lot of money, and I'm going to spend the remaining half giving all the money away. And he did exactly that, $500 million more than 100 years ago. See how big that money is. Um, what, what do I want to teach you from that story? One is the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is attitude and knowledge. Andrew wasn't the only one that got the opportunity to read in that man's library. Yeah? But he grabbed that opportunity and he educated his mind. He changed his mind. This man had only a few months of schooling, but that didn't stop him from being the best that he could be. I'm not saying go and become a billionaire, but be the best that you can be, reach your full potentials. One of the principles that Andrew uh, taught in most of the books, I've read almost all his books. Anything with Andrew Carnegie's name on it, I've read it. I can summarize his major principles in this quote. He said, the first man gets the oyster, the second man gets the shell. So that principle there is principle of prompt action. When, when he asked, um, Napoleon Hill was a journalist, the man who wrote Think and Grow Rich. He was meant to interview Andrew for three hours and they ended up having that interview for three days. At the end of the interview, Andrew asked Napoleon Hill, would you spend the next 20 years working for me on a project where you're not gonna get paid, but that project would deliver great results for humanity and it would change a lot of people's lives. And Napoleon Hill said, yes, immediately. And after I said yes, Andrew brought out uh, the stopwatch in his pocket and showed him the time was on 30 seconds when uh, Napoleon said yes. He said he's offered that opportunity to five, 250 people. And it took them more than one minute to make a decision. And if it takes you more than one minute to make a decision, Andrew believes you, uh, you are unlikely to complete a project. Uh, the principle he, he works by is uh, you must make your decisions promptly. If you're taking anything away from today, if that is the only thing you take away, um, it's more than worth it. And I will tell you why making prompt decision is even much more important and why it works and why people who, who cultivate the habit of doing this, uh, they, they are successful in whatever they do. They are successful. So, so let's jump on the webinar itself. I'm going to move faster because I've got a lot to cover. Um, who is this webinar for? Uh, my goal is, to, is for you to learn how to collaborate with your mind to improve every area of your life. Could be health, abundance, relationship, wealth, spirituality. Um, if you don't want improvement in any of this area, maybe you should live now. <laughs> I know that I do. I'm joking. Um, stay, stay. Don't, don't live. Now, this is the journey. Uh, my question to you is, what, what is your dream? What, 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 what is that your dream? You know, when you were a child, uh, you dreamt of doing so many wonderful stuff. But because life has knocked you up and down, uh, you've probably forgotten about that dream. Uh, 
one of my goals today is to reactivate that dream. Reactivate the dream that you're capable of reaching your full potential. Why is it not working so far? Uh, let me tell you, when I analyze how your mind works, you find out that it's not your fault. Everybody is in that boat until it's either they have the natural tendency to override um, the, the preference for running our mind on autopilot, or they learn how to do so. Either way, um, it, you know, you got to either have the natural ability or you learn how to do it. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter as long as you're able to do it. Uh, most people are worried about, you know, uh, government changing their policies, their legislations, cut in benefits, cut in services. You don't have to worry about that if you know how to collaborate with your mind, tap into the power of your mind to do extraordinary things. So these are the things that you're taking away today. Uh, I'm going to share with you how, you know, you learn uh, about the power of your mind to achieve success, not just success, achieve other things as well. You learn how to disrupt the habitual behavior stopping your progress. Uh, let me tell you, 90% uh, of our behaviors are habitual behavior. You wake up, you pick up your brush, you go brush your teeth, you, you know, jump into the bathroom. Everything is habitual. You're not thinking about it. So my goal is to help you disrupt that. Because if you are able to disrupt that, then change is coming to you. The change you want is coming to you. A self-awareness, knowing yourself. I'm going to tell you about pattern recognition. The dangers of pattern recognition and uh, the fortunes that may accrue to you from pattern recognition. And I'll share two powerful examples uh, where uh, it will uh, show you explicitly uh, what pattern recognition is and how you can use it. Uh, how to remove mindset ceiling to allow you to reach your full potential. I will explain that later. Learn how to behave in a way that you do not currently behave to achieve your dreams, okay? Um, so that's what I want you to learn today. Okay, um, I didn't start with introducing myself. <laughs> um, you know, there is a question I'm gonna ask later. And that question is, who are you? Who are you? I want you to ponder that question before I get to that slide. Uh, my name is Ayo Benson Olariwaju. If you're not Nigerian, don't even try to pronounce that name. Um, I, I trained as a chartered accountant and I've got MBA and all of that. And um, I've worked in corporates uh, for many years. And um, you know, I've also funded e-commerce businesses. I've done so many businesses in my life. Um, but right now, my goal, everything I do now must have element of helping people directly or indirectly uh, through it. Um, so, you know, I'm the author of the book, Gold Mine of Your Mind, and uh, so many wonderful people, celebrities, politicians, footballers, they've said great things about the book. It's not about the book today, it's about you. So, I'm just going to jump away from this slide. I also run a TV program um, with the title Gold Mine of Your Mind TV. Uh, it is the same, um, similar to what I'm doing with you here today. It is about teaching people how to collaborate with their mind and live a more purposeful, fulfilling, and happy life. Um, so I brought some incredibly uh, powerful people, highly productive people uh, onto the show. And most of them are my friends and some are my clients. I'm just going to jump away from that. I've got an award. Um, I'm not, not going to stay long on that. Um, so woohoo! <laughs> I 
was given an award for, you know, being an influential role model. Um, so uh, I thank those people who thought um, that's necessary. Okay. Um, yeah, I've worked with, you know, incredibly produ highly productive people, um, worked with millionaire business leaders, um, MESK is ex-international, England international, um, it's a very prominent figure in the community, um, is my coaching client, um, so I have him solve problems. Uh, some of you may think that, you know, um, rich people don't have problems, that's not true. Um, yeah, very personable um, gentleman, great guy. Um, uh, this is a uh, Monty Panesat. Some of you who follow cricket, you know him. He also um, he was an ex England international cricketer, uh, top cricketer for that matter. Um, very well known. Um, he's also my client. He invited me to his radio show here, and we had fun on the day. Um, you know, if you like to listen to it, it's very powerful. Um, you know, talk to my team. So it wasn't always like this. Um, I do not make a secret of the fact that, um, you know, I had a little bit rough childhood uh, because I lost my dad uh, at a very young age. And he left 10 of us <laughs> from five different women. Um, you know, the man was a stud. Anyway. Um, we ran into difficulties, and uh, but we got help from other people. Um, and as young as I was, I, you know, promised myself if I weathered the storm, I will, you know, use whatever I've got to help others as well. And that's what I'm doing now. That is my why. So if some of you are looking for, well, what's your why? That's my why. So. If you find your why, then nothing can stop you. Uh, you will be able to, you know, run through brick walls to achieve your dreams. So my dream is to influence millions of people to change their lives, and that is what I'm doing right here. Okay, so that's my why. <laughs> the, the cup of tea that shifted my world. Uh, this is a very long story, but there is a big lesson um, right inside this story. And I'm going to share with you. I'll make it short. So one Saturday, I um, made a cup of tea in the kitchen, and I left it there to brew a little bit to cool down, and I forgot it. So as I was about stepping out, I saw it. Uh, and I said, oh. I, I tend not, I don't like waste, I don't like wasting stuff. So I say, okay, since I've made this, I might as well drink it, but it's cold. So I put it in the microwave, warmed it up and drank it, thought nothing of it, headed out, uh, got my car key, driving to the mall. Uh, on my way to the mall, I started feeling my heartbeat running crazy. Oh, I, I thought, must must be must be that tea. So I bought a liter of water and I drank it with the intention that that would neutralize it. Uh, but it didn't work. So to cut a long story short, 3 a.m. in the morning, my heart was pounding and I was afraid. I thought I was going to have an heart attack. Called the ambulance in six to seven minutes, they arrived, but it felt like three days. So they took me in the ambulance, plugged all sort of things on my body, and um, you know, got me to the hospital. They stabilized it and uh, sent me to my GP. Um, and my GP tested me and said, You've got a very high blood pressure, we're gonna put you on a drug for the rest of your life, and um, you know, that will be it. So uh, I said, that's fine, as long as there is a solution. So you know, I went to the pharmacy. You know, when they give you a very powerful drug, they're gonna read uh, some of the side effects to you. So she was doing that, and I wasn't paying attention um, because I was, just give me the drug and let me go away. And um, what got my attention and freaked me out was 
Uh, she said uh, erectile dysfunction is one of the side effects. Uh, don't you laugh because I freaked out. Uh, so I started looking for solutions. Quite a long story short, I've been um, always, I've been dabbling in meditation. Uh, meditation is you sit down, you clear your mind and you just breathe. Um, so some highly religious people think meditation is bad. I don't know where they got that from. If breathing is bad, then maybe meditation is bad. Anyway, to cut a long story short, so um, I, I used to double in meditation. So um, I was advised, I said, you know, if you actually meditate regularly, uh, this may solve the problem. So because I was so motivated, so I started, you know, doing meditation, you know, twice, three times a day, and lo and behold, the blood pressure normalized. Say, okay, okay. So the pharmacist warned me I couldn't stop the drug except I, my doctor said so. Uh, so I said, okay, I went to the doctor and uh, he said, I said, I've stopped my drug. He was alarmed. So he tested it, he said, okay, it's normal now, but I don't believe you. I'll you know, come back in two or three weeks and I'll test it again. So he did, and it was normal, and it is still normal up to today. Okay, what was the point of that story? Um, that really is not the story. <laughs> the story is the side effects of that meditation. So I started getting intuition, I started predicting uh, if my team are gonna win, I will know if they're gonna lose, I will know. I started having some, you know, uh, spooky ideas and some inspirations. Uh, that's where I got the inspiration to write my book for, the title, everything. I didn't even do a lot of research on it. So the point of the story uh, is, number one, your adversity uh, your opportunity may be just around the time that you encounter an, uh, an adversity. So that's, that's the number one lesson from that. The, the second lesson is um, hard work and running around like headless chicken doesn't necessarily bring the success you desire. If you know how to connect with your inner wisdom, uh, because everyone has got it, everyone has got inner wisdom, but we don't listen to it. Uh, in this program, I'm going to share with you how to listen to your inner wisdom and be able to do extraordinary things in life. What I've experienced since that time is being short of phenomenal. You know, I've worked with incredible people. I've made a lot of money, I've lost a lot of money, I've made a lot of money again, uh, you find out when uh, you've made money that it's not what it's cracked up to be. Um, when you get there, you look back and say, is this all there is to it? Uh, what you should strive for, which is part of what this program is about, is your ability to connect with your inner wisdom so that your happiness doesn't depend on external stuff. Um, if you put me in a hut today, I'm fine. You know, I'm not going to feel any differently. There is a little bit of chance that your life will change if you make plenty of money. But some people will say, give me the money first. <laughs> and I will deal with whatever comes with it. Ah, so on a serious note, um, I'm going to make progress because I've got a lot to cover. So um, take notes. Adversity is your stepping stone to great stops. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Um, that's, the Bible states that. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Now, I'm coming into uh, the area where uh, you will understand there is a huge uh, power in your ability to think through what you want. Most people, um, there is a guy called Deepak Chopra, some of you may know him. 
it said we have over 80,000 thoughts a day, but 95% of them are thoughts we had yesterday. So that's why people get into a rut. That's why people, um, you know, they fall into the wrong kind of paradigm and they become a fig victim of the environment, victim of their own imagination. Okay, so Buddha said that. You know, I love Andrew Carnage. <laughs> And he said, the man who acquires the ability to take possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. Please, can you write this now? If you don't know, if you have never encountered this quote, please write it down right now. The man who acquires the ability to take possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. Okay? So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to actually write that down. It may just change your life because understanding this one principle is what Andrew Carnegie, is what helped Andrew Carnegie become the richest man in the world more than 100 years ago. So you can become anything you want if you just grab this principle and run with it. Okay, um, so I'm waiting for you to copy that um, because it's really, really very important. Uh, okay, thank you, Nelly. Thank you, Nelly, for joining us. Um, I just saw your uh, chat. So I'm going to make progress now. Okay. Okay. Okay, Richard Bandler. Richard Bandler uh, was the founder of um, NLP uh, together with um, John Grinder. Um, he said, brains aren't designed to get results. They go in directions. If you know how the brain works, you can set your own direction. If you don't, then someone else will. Someone else will set your direction. So what I'm teaching you here today is how to combine how your brain works, how your mind works, and how both your brain, your mind, and your body is connected <laughs> and will deliver you results if you know how to you know, collaborate with all of them. Uh, that's what uh, this program is about. So change must start inside, not outside. Um, An engram is a unit of cognitive information inside the brain, theorized to be the means by which memories are stored as biophysical or biochemical changes in the brain and other neural tissue in response to external stimuli. You know what? Just forget everything I've just said <laughs> because I'm going to explain uh, to you what that means and how you can make the most of it, or how you can avoid uh, the dangers of engram. So my secret number one yeah, uh, is, you know, I, I told you before, I'm going to ask you this question. Who are you? Uh, if you just blot out, um, I'm an accountant, I'm a nurse, I'm a this, or oh, I'm beautiful, that's not your answer. Um, if you are a judge in your own case, you are unlikely to be found guilty. So I have a, a secret weapon that I use for my clients. Even clients pay me, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds. I have a secret weapon which I'm gonna share with you. Um, it will, it's a psychometry test that will break down every aspect of your life and you will be amazed at how accurate, how accurate that, that uh, psychometry test is. The first time I did the test, it felt like somebody was standing on my shoulder throughout my life, watching every move I'm making, and also predicting what I'm likely to do next. So it's very powerful. Knowing yourself is the beginning of wisdom. So Sun Tzu, um, 
was uh, an army general um, and that thousands and thousands, I think 560 BC. Um, he, he wrote the book, Art of War. Uh, if you haven't read that book, go get it. It's very, very powerful. It is about warfare, but you can learn a lot of things from it uh, that you can apply to your life. Oh, he said, know thyself, know thine enemies. 1,000 battles, 1,000 victories. Okay, let me tell you this. When he says, you might be thinking, I am not ever going to be a soldier. <laughs> yeah, you won't. Uh, but when I explain this to you, you understand it better. Say, know thyself. That's easy. I can give you a psychometry test and you know yourself. Know thy enemies. That's more difficult. And you know why? Because that enemy is inside you and there are thousands of them. <laughs> and we'll walk through how you identify that and how you conquer that. Um, by understanding them, so that you have 1,000 battles, you have 1,000 victories. Um, okay, to to raised hand. Okay, um, what is that about? Uh, you want to put it in a chart? Okay. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna continue because we've got a lot to cover, and I'm not even halfway yet. So. It's not who you think you are that holds you back. It's who you think you're not. That's, that's another one that you need to put in there. It's not who you think you are that holds you back. It's who you think you're not. Can you please write that down? Because it would change your life. So while you're writing that, let me tell you this my staff story. It's powerful, but you know, some people do get emotional uh, when I share this story. I, I interviewed this girl for a job and he was brilliant at the interview. And I gave him the job. I was so excited. I was looking forward to this, you know, young woman shaking up everything and delivering results for my company. Um, so she got on the job and she was complete rubbish. She was just making one error after the other. Um, say long story, I cut it short. I was on the brink of firing her. One day, made another mistake, called her into my office and she was petrified. So I asked her to sit down, and as a coach, I have been observing her. She was always very, very careful. And if you are in that mode, you cannot do anything significant in life. Uh, take, take that from me. You've got to uh, have allowance of uh, risk taking in whatever you do, and you've got to do things faster, um, which is, uh, what was the name of this Facebook guy? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg said, if you aren't breaking stops, you're moving fast enough. <laughs> so anyway, I digress a little bit. So, so, I, so I asked that a question. I said, do you think you are always being judged? And she looked down. Because she was sitting right in front of me. She looked down at her feet and she wouldn't lift her head up. And I left her for a moment. And by the time she raised up her head, she was crying. And I asked her, so why, why are you emotional? And she told me her life story and I was moved. I was moved to tears myself. I mean, I'm not a teary, teary person. <laughs> uh, she, she told me about how her parents divorced and um, she ended up living with her dad and the dad, um, you know, married another woman. Um, now she's living with a stepmother who was terribly horrible to her. You know, she'd tell her you amount to nothing. Whatever she did wasn't good enough. Everything was wrong. You know, abuse, people can take abuse. Um, 
But what made the matter worse was what the, the stepmother brought a brother into the house. And, um, you know, I don't I want to save you the very difficult uh, details of it. That brother raped this girl at the age of 14. So she was carrying that burden throughout her life. She didn't share that with anyone. She told the stepmother, but she shut her up that she was making up the story to send her brother away from the house. So anyway, she cried a little bit more and you know, I was moved to tears myself. So I walked with this girl and uh, she got it. So when, when I was describing Engram the other time, that is Engram, that's what's stopping her. If you have had a traumatic experience, even not traumatic experience, any experience that you give an interpretation that defines you as worthless, as not deserving, is dangerous. That's why, um, you know, bullies, bullies have destroyed so many lives. Um, because those people, they, they bullying, believed that truly uh, they, are, they aren't worth anything. So anyway, worked with her and she got over that engram and she became one of my best staff for years. She's now, she has her own business now and she's married and happily married and she's having a great life. So chance encounter, if she didn't work with me, she probably will still be carrying that burden around with her. So you may say, oh, I was never raped or this and that. Yeah, it's not just about rape. It's any experience that you gave the interpretation that you're not worthy or you're not deserving or you, you know, or little old me, it is dangerous and you must get rid of it. Okay. So, um, this, this is map of consciousness, map of consciousness. Are, are you guys following me? Am I moving too fast or am I moving too slow? Or you want me to move a bit faster um, because we are running out of time? Just, just let me know in the chat uh, if you are getting it. Are you guys getting this? Uh, so this is map of consciousness, okay? Uh, map of consciousness, uh, is a definition, is calibration of different types of emotions and people are located at, at different stages of this map. If you see uh, at the bottom, you see that shame is, is the lowest emotion there, that's 20. Um, I'm, not, I'm not privileged to go through everything, but let me just give you an indication of why uh, you must get yourself away from the low vibration. Uh, from 175 downward, you must get yourself away from there if you exhibit any of those emotions. Shame, you know, is, is the lowest of this calibration at 20. People in shame, um, you know, they, they may kill themselves. Um, if you've heard the, that lovely um, uh, presenter, Caroline Flagg, uh, killed herself. For what? You know? Um, some of you are standing outside and you're judging her that why would she kill herself for something that's small? Yeah, it's because you're not in her shoes. It's because she, she is in shame. Yeah? She is in shame and she couldn't get out of it. Um, actually, you know, I was moved enough to write a piece about it on social media, on LinkedIn, and wrote something on, on Facebook. I posted it on Facebook as well. So we must be careful. If you have a child, please be watchful that that child is not in any of the low emotion. Guilt. Um, guilt is another dangerous emotion. So when people are in this low emotion, nothing works for them. Um, because they just keep attracting similar negative thoughts. Um, in my, in, in our program, in our boot camp, and in our uh, rapid change program, uh, program course, uh, we analyze each of these steps 
up to enlightenment and how you can get yourself away from the low level um low level uh, emotions um apathy for instance people that are homeless they don't care anymore uh, so those people are in they, they are in apathy um pride pride is you're proud of something that has nothing to do with you you know you know like the you know uh, the fundamentalists you know people blowing themselves up you know for a cause um you know you may stand outside and judge them but it you know what what they're doing makes sense to them um so anyway and joy love uh, people in love uh, people like uh, mandela Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, uh, they calibrated at 500. Um, so that's love and up to enlightenment. So I'm, I'm just going to leave uh, this map alone. If I have any reference to it, I will just refer to it. Okay. So the truth about you. Um, have, you have you looked into the eyes of babies and is your heart is going to melt? <laughs> because you were born perfect, you know. It's, it's like you're a diamond, but the society, I, I call it domestication. If you've read the book, um, uh, The Four Agreements, uh, Oprah said that book is, um, is a companion. It's always on that pillow. Um, in, in, in that book, that man, um, Miguel, Ruiz, Miguel Ruiz said, um, you know, the way we were domesticated is the source of all our challenges. Is because as a baby we're like diamond, but as we grow up, uh, the society puts shit all over us, <laughs> put us shit all over us, and then we say that oh we're dirty, so we start to apply nail polish to make ourselves look good. Um, but all that we need to do is to polish off, you know, all the domestication, all the rules of society putting upon us, and then we we'll, the true diamond in us will emerge. Um, I'm not just saying that to encourage you or to inspire you, but um, you were born perfect. Uh, so self-love is the biggest love. Uh, the power of insights, the power of insights. Uh, what, what does that mean? Um, at our boot camp, rapid change boot camp, uh, this wonderful woman, um, you know, very successful as being director of big organizations, she came to that event. And uh, as I was going on break, I said, okay, um, we're going to go on break now and uh, we'll come back in one hour's time. She said, stop. I just stop. And she started crying. And uh, she said, you know, she came uh, to that program, um, you know, just to learn something new that she didn't know that she would be that impacted. Um, she didn't want uh, face to be shown, so I'm uh, just play it for you. Okay, I'm just gonna start it from the beginning. Um, so you say, I was expecting it to fill my head, but it's touched a nerve, as you can see. When I was just about to go before lunch break, in terms of the um, essential point of it will come to me, whatever is falling will come to me. So a kind of wisdom thing. I was expecting a wisdom in nerving. And then when we also unpacked the um, our particular scenario, which is beautiful, because I think every drop on the and double do all each other's as well. Yeah. Well it, that the deserving thing was a kind of a critical thing. But then also my ultimate so um so that that audio is not very clear what i want to bring out of that is uh you can uncover just one insight and it will create a massive change in you um that was very very powerful for her and she said you know she wasn't expecting you know uh, something will hit a nerve uh like that um so you don't know you know, what insight will change everything for you. So, mindset ceiling. Okay, mindset ceiling is, uh, some of you are aware of glass ceiling. They will say, oh, that is glass ceiling. They wouldn't let the women be uh, FTSE 100 um, uh, CEOs and all of that glass ceiling. That, you know, that's external. Mindset ceiling is internal. 
is the limitation that you set for yourself. So what we do on a rapid change program is to help you break through uh, that mindset ceiling so that you get to the next level and you achieve bigger and bigger things that you didn't even imagine. Let me quickly uh, tell you this law firm, they, they came, um, the husband of the woman who started the law firm approached me, it's, it's also a chartered accountant, and uh, he said, look, um, I know we've been on three million pounds for uh, like three or four years in a row, and um, you know, we're trying to, we've tried so many things, didn't work, we stay, stay at that level. And straight away, I you know, knew that was mindset ceiling uh, for both of them. They wanted us to help them with digital marketing. And I said, look, listen, um, it's not digital marketing that's the problem. If you've been, you know, if you've done everything that you needed to do, what you need to fix is your mindset. And um, so I worked with husband and wife, and lo and behold, last year they made five million pounds. They still did the digital marketing, but, you know, perhaps it wouldn't have worked if they didn't fix their mindset. So that's how powerful mindset is. Um, 360 degree transformation. I'm just gonna play this for you. And the reason why is there are two elements I want you to take out of it. So listen to it and extract two key things I want you to learn from it. And I'll, I'll see whether you listen. Yeah, I and it you. But it took a bit of time before you got around to um, actually uh, signing up for coaching. So what happened between that time we met and the time you decided to coach with me? I think, I suppose, it's just, you know it takes me time to get going. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But once I put my mind to something, then I do it. And I think it was like, because um, I'd already been working with the coach, mm -hmm. it was like, did I need to get myself another coach? Mm -hmm. But then I think it was like, when we had the first session and the coaching was about me, my mindset, and clearing up with the beliefs, mm -hmm. um, giving me exercises to do, mm -hmm. then I started to see the difference. Then I thought, okay, yeah, this I, I need to go and pursue this. Mm -hmm. So so from from our first session to our last session, can you describe the shift you you actually got and you know, what, what was the experience like? So I, I think for me, I've had a complete 360. Mm -hmm. It's like people around me are saying I'm a completely different person. Mm -hmm. I believe in myself. I'll stand up for myself now. Mm -hmm. If someone does something I don't like, I'll mm -hmm. actually challenge them now more than I would. Mm -hmm. um, I believe in my skill set. I believe in my worth. Mm -hmm. I believe I have a lot of value to offer to others. So, um, all of that, I didn't believe in myself before. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, yes, yeah, so I think for me, it's been, it's, yeah, it's been clearing away a lot of the um, things that have held me back. Mm -hmm. And I think also, like, all the different exercises. So, the one about clearing the childhood, going back to the inner child, that was really powerful. Mm -hmm. And then the exercise of being the real me, who's me in the future. Because mm -hmm. um, I made a note of all that. Every day I went on my travels, I paid notes as to who I'm going to become. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding fast that, you know what, there's a lot to me to give. Mm -hmm. And I just need to keep moving forward. Oh, definitely. Even now, even now it's like um, sharing with other people. When people are sitting down and asking me why I shifted so much, mm -hmm. then I share with them that I changed my mindset. Mm -hmm. And it's like the importance of doing that. I'm still doing like, not every day that I used to do, but every now and again, I'll pick up my pen and do the exercises, you know, I've got the power within me to change who I need to be, you know, all of those, it's all of those type of things, I still sit down, I still read them, mm -hmm. because I know that I, I need to put positive energy in my body, mm -hmm. so when I'm feeling a bit low, I just pick those up and start to do it again, uh, and I get this, you know, you get the shift quicker because it's already embedded. Mm. You know, so it's like not just like my immediate family, it's other people around mm -hmm. who take these steps in their life mm -hmm. because of the see the changes that have happened in me or my children. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's very much a domino effect. Mm. It's very much a domino effect. What can you get from that? Um, one, she changed her mindset. 
and then she became somebody different and then everybody around her were transforming so that's what i call belief transference um you know people say oh you're an average of five people you're in close proximity with um not physical proximity uh, people you're connected with people you're close to um if you're close to people like that you're gonna uh, influence them they will influence you as well so because she changed because she's emitting a different vibration even people around are achieving success uh, that's powerful um you know uh, i i love to share a story because it's, it's actually uh, you know story that i'm really really very proud of her uh, for what she's done in a very short period of time um, so uh, when you change, you actually giving permission to other people around you to change as well. And, um, you know, whether they know it or not, um, I think there's something spiritual about that. So what are the symptoms of mindset selling? Um, Self-sabotage, uh, that's where you take one step forward and then you take two steps backward. You know what you should do, but you're not doing it. You're creating alibis for not making progress. You're procrastinating, pushing things to tomorrow as if you're going to live forever. Are you people getting this? Um, yeah, so those are the symptoms of mindset ceiling. So how you're going to deal with that uh, is part of what we have in this rapid change program. So let me talk a little bit about your mind. I'm not going to spend some too much time on it because I, I devoted, you know, uh, a few chapters to it in my book, Conscious Mind. Um, that's where you have the ability to choose, your ability to accept or reject, and what you see is what you get. It's original. Your conscious mind is original. Um, your, con your subconscious mind is opposite. Your con subconscious mind is the powerful part of your mind. It's about 90% uh, powerful, more powerful uh, than, than your conscious mind. It's like 10%, your subconscious is like... 90 percent you don't you have no clue how your food is digested you have no clue how your wound is ill you have no clue how you know the number of buckets of blood being pumped by your heart day in day out you have no clue how you breathe in and you breathe out you just it happens automatically there is a program running all of that and that same program is the program running the thoughts going on through your mind. So if you're stuck and you are in habitual behavior, which all of us mostly are, except you learn how to uh, interrupt that habitual behavior, that's where your change comes from. That's what we do on this program. So when you sit down behind the TV all day long and you're listening to news about uh, coronavirus, <laughs> you're, you're looking for trouble because your subconscious mind cannot actually reject. It will just take in everything. Um, so uh, it's, it, the real situation is the same as imagined situation. So this is where visualization is powerful. Uh, most people, they live in the past. If you sit down for five minutes and watch what thoughts are going on in your mind, you realize it's, it's thoughts of the past, except you're trained to actually focus on the present and imagine a future that you want. So when you imagine a future you want, you're visualizing your future and your mind will go get it. Yeah. Uh, but most people don't know how to do visualization effectively, so they say, oh, it doesn't work for them. So I always say principles don't fail, people do. So pattern recognition. Um, th this is the most uh, powerful part of knowing yourself um, that I preach all the time. Um, I've done it on my TV program. I've, it's in my book. You know, I've, you know, I coach people about it. Uh, pattern recognition is for you to look at patterns in your life, and if it is damaging, you fix them. If they are good, you keep them. Uh, let me tell you quickly about my sister's story because that will just bring it to life for you. Um, my sister, very, very lovely, lovely woman. She, 
if you are around her, you love 24 hours of the day. People flocked to her uh, to be in her company. Um, but she, she didn't have any idea how to recognize damaging patterns. She kept picking the wrong man, the wrong man, the wrong man, until she married the wrong man. And uh, the, the marriage was, you know, turbulent. And she was about to get out. She already, you know, looked for a place to move to. Uh, she was a successful businesswoman, and she had so many properties herself. Um, she made that arrangement, then she procrastinated. Um, you know, about two weeks after she was shot in a, in a contrived armed robbery, um, organized by somebody I would not, you know, um, mention his name, <laughs> but you probably get my drift. Um, when you marry the wrong person and you have money and that person has got nothing, um, we actually got evidence of that, but in Nigeria, you get away with murder. Um, so, she she was shot. She ended up in hospital. She survived for two weeks. We thought the worst was over. And then um, she died of blood cloth. Um, I, I was devastated, to say, to say the least. Um, so two, two lessons from there is, uh, it's not just about making money. It's not just about being successful. You may actually, if you do not recognize patterns in your life, you may actually put yourself in danger. And another lesson I want you to learn from that is when your gut feeling says something, there is an inner wisdom. God has given us inner wisdom uh, to warn us, to tell us uh, when to do things. And when something occurs to you, you encounter an opportunity Please do not procrastinate. If you've made a decision to do something, just go do it. And you'll see towards the end, I'm going to share with you why that is powerful. When you've made a committed decision about something, the providence will move too. Providence will help you get it done. Um, so that was really a very sad story for me. Um, but, you know, we, we lost her um, because she couldn't uh, recognize the danger of the patterns she was running. Um, but it's not, pattern, pattern recognition is not all bad. And um, I brought this, this guy from Nigeria, he came to the best of Nigeria, brought all his team. He's a property and construction magnet, a multi-millionaire, he's a billionaire in Nigerian money. Um, I want you to listen to what you can spot, please listen carefully for pattern recognition. That's why I want you to uh, watch this, please. When you were working at the bank, you recognized certain patterns. Yeah, tell, tell, tell us about yeah, that was actually the, 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 what, what led to who I can say I am today. I tried to see how many of our customers in the banking industry were paying back their loan on time, yeah. trying to see that there were customers that would pay their money even before the due date. Yeah. So I was uh, moved by this and I wanted to see what are these people doing that they do not even owe banks, mm -hmm. they pay on time. Yeah. And I made up my mind that whenever I'm going to go into business, yeah. I'll try as much as possible to pick from any of these beautiful businesses yeah, that tell us about those so businesses. I find out that most of the uh, customers we financed in the construction industry were doing very well. Most of the customers we financed in the um, property market, they were doing very well. The agricultural experts were also doing very well. So I chose to start from construction. Yeah. And to the glory of God, I was able to, uh, you know, do quite a lot in terms of um, profitability mm -hmm. using that experience that I got from those customers. What, what, what I want to add to that, which I want people to take away, uh, is uh, there is something called pattern recognition. Yeah, it, it happens all the time in our lives, but most of us we just ignore it or we cannot recognize it. Wherever you are, learn to look for patterns. 
And, and that, that, that is what I, I do with business leaders. It, it's when they come to me, I say, take any of your history of, mm -hmm. your, of your business. Mm -hmm. And then they tell me this, I will spot patterns there. And I say, you know, do this, do this. And then they get great. Okay, so also, yeah. When you told me that, I said, oh, that's pattern recognition. Yeah. That is yeah. very strong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like somebody like you, I have learned a lot from you. I must say that today. Oh, thank and, you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's not a joke because I, I, you may not be doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. When I look at your book that mm -hmm. you have written, I see so many things that talk to me there. Mm -hmm. And I pick those things. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's, that's pattern recognition. What I want you to uh, take away from that is uh, you must be able to um, analyze recurring patterns, recognize that recur recurring patterns, uh, eliminate potentially damaging patterns, and promote good patterns. So I need to move faster now um, because my time is running out. Um, I'm not going to go into this because I really do not have the time. Albert Einstein said, we can solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. You see, um, I granted this interview to a newspaper a while ago, and uh, they, they captured the whole interview on this. They said, fixing business problems without fixing persons behind them is fruitless. So what that is saying is, if you're running a business or you're in a career, wherever you are, you need to uh, retune your mindset and reach your full potential. Uh, change and learning. In terms of rapid change, learners inherit the heart uh, while the learned are beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Uh, most people think they know everything. Uh, you see from some of the testimonials from a rapid change program that you know um people even people that are really really on top of their game they still have so much to learn um learning and uh, confidence to learn we need a, a certain degree of confidence not too much not too little if we have too little we think we can't learn if we have too much we think we don't have to learn so the dangers of convert zone so wherever you are, um, that you're comfortable, uh, please know that there is another level. The moment you're comfortable, please look for your next level. Um, because if, if you resist, uh, to, if you encounter difficulties and you resist, then it persists. So what you resist persists. Um, whatever you want to be, do or have, cause another to be, do or have it. Um, there is this guy called uh, Neil Donald Walsh, who uh, was homeless, and uh, he published the book uh, Conversation with God, and now is a multimillionaire. Uh, it, this is the principle he shared. He said this is this principle uh, that got him out of trouble, that even as he was homeless, if he's got, um, you know, a dollar, he will give his fellow homeless people 50, 50 pence out of it. And, um, you know, so it's a spiritual principle. Whatever you want, give it. He said, if you want love, give love. If you want laughter, give laughter. If you want money, give money. So just to share that with you. So a quick question for you. Um, are you excited about what we've shared today? <laughs> I'm sure some of you are already overwhelmed because uh, there is a lot to cover I'm, you know i couldn't even go into the details of most of them but it is really really very powerful learning is good i'm thirsty for learning uh it's like drinking a bucket of water in two minutes is that possible um but you can drink it in two or three days um so uh, would you would you rather drink like this greedy guy on the left <laughs> Or uh, you want to drink slowly, cool, calm, and collected like Obama? Um, you know, very funny. So, implementation, implementation is key. Um, you know, what we've shared in one hour is, is something we, we can teach for, for a whole month. Um, we can teach it for six weeks, we can teach it for three months so that you embed it. You've gone to so many seminars, so many webinars. The moment you stand up there, it's natural human tendency to go on and go back to the old ways we do things. Uh, the likelihood that you go away and implement this knowledge uh, is close to zero. 
So, but when you have a structure where you'll be able to implement it with other people, then you get your result faster. Um, I want you to capture this. Um, it said the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that will never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision to which no man could have dreamed will have come his way. Uh, W.H. Murray, um, he was a mountain climber, you know, climbing Everest and the rest of them. Um, I think in the 40s or something like that. Um, so he, come, or he came up with this uh, quote uh, that the moment you committed yourself, the moment you committed yourself, God will move in your favor as well. So that is why Andrew Carnegie, uh, that's why he talked about prompt action, prompt action, because he knew, he knew that it, there is power in you taking prompt action. Um, we, we did a, a program, a boot camp, two-day boot camp um, a while ago, and some of the um, uh, attendees, um, they shared their experience. This is Reg's experience. Yeah, Reg, and this uh, because you, you're also a coach, um, can you sum up your experience of the two days um, in terms of uh, transformational impact and what you're taking away? Okay, um, in terms of the last couple of days, um, one thing I said yes, like I said, I'm, I've been a coach for so many, many years, uh, I've been a coach for many, many years, but and what I'm amazed by is the, the way that this program over the last couple of days has been impacting me. In a sense, you know, um, one, of, one of the things um, that sometimes you get carried away in thinking that you know everything, mm -hmm. in a sense, but um, one thing about this course, which is called the um, Rapid Change Program, is it penetrates very, very deep into the individual. That's a very, very key part in terms of us. You know, everybody that participates there um, being in business, but it's not really doing focus on strategy, focus on us as human beings, in a sense, yeah. And the exercises, um, the way that it got us thinking, which I think is a, is a massive part of this program, it got us actually thinking about things that were there, that we didn't know that was there, the things that we always knew that was there, that we haven't, you know, that we never had an opportunity to challenge or, or somehow get rid of. In a sense, or somehow embrace, in a sense, as an integral part of ourselves. So what it done is really, really transform the perspective of how I see myself and how um, how it's okay um, for challenges to come up. And we don't look at that as a full stop, but look at it as an opportunity to you know continue on writing on power right in a sense. And I just keep very, very metaphoric and comedic in a sense, but it's it's powerful. The program is very, very, very powerful. Thank you. Okay, so so that's um, that's Reg uh, sharing his experience of our rapid change program, uh, the two-day boot camp. Um, everybody got phenomenal um, transformation at that program. Um, so I want to share this with you. I'll go back to Andrew Carnegie about making prompt decision. The reason why most successful people they make prompt decision is they don't know how to get there. They don't know the result. They don't know. Uh, what it is, but they know what they want. And when you know what you want and you have committed decision, that is where you see that white arrow says committed decision. If you know, um, if, you, if you have committed decision, you get to that goal faster. Um, if not, if not, you remain at the bottom and that's where the result will be. Uh, so uh, committed decision is powerful. Our time. Do not act as if you are going to live 10,000 years. Your time is limited. When, while you live, while it is in your power, be good. Be good means live up to your full potentials. So is it okay for me to share special over I created for you guys? I want you to type yes in the, in the chat box. Type yes if you want me to share that offer with you. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. So it's called Rapid Change Program. It's a six-week course. And that those six-week course will be a straight away online six-week course, okay? 
And then in addition to that, you spend two days with me. How fabulous would that be? I'm already excited about that. You're gonna spend two days with me. Um, we're gonna work in groups and I'm gonna work with people one-on-one -on -one to resolve any problem they're having. Um, you know, this is what I do for, you know, millionaire entrepreneurs, footballers, cricketers, you know, I sit down with them and I solve problem with them and they are happy. But, you know, uh, you can't pay me the 20,000 pounds they can't afford to pay me. Uh, but you're going to spend two days with me and we're going to do the same level of work uh, that I do with these people. It's called Mindset Transformation for Success, Rapid Change Program. You know, we've talked a lot about old ways of doing things, running habitual behaviors will get you the same result time and time again. But there is a new way, and I'm sharing that new ways with the world, and you're fortunate to be part of it. Um, so this is where your decision to make a prompt a a decision will be very, very powerful. So what's the content? I'm not gonna stay a lot on it because we haven't got much time. I'll just uh, quickly read them out. You have the introduction, the purpose of the course, knowing yourself, and I talked about that, that's powerful. How to change your paradigm. Your paradigm runs your life because your most of your behaviors are habitual behaviors and you're gonna get the same result if you stay there. Eliminating childhood engrams. You remember that, my staffs? Um, a, a story, if she didn't eliminate en that engram, she would still be living in fear and in shame. Uh, raising your vibration. I showed you the map of, of consciousness. You need to get yourself of the bottom and get yourself to the top. When you're on top, things start to happen for you without you even trying. People will be looking at you. How oh, is, is this person manifesting effortlessly? That's why, because you've taken yourself out of low vibration. The power of identity. Then you create a new identity for yourself. What's your genius? Genius, some of you may ask. Me? <laughs> genius? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yeah, you're a genius. Um, Albert Einstein said that, not me. You know, he said, you know, the way to find your genius is to know yourself, you know, which is part of all the things that we're doing here. Powerful goal setting for rapid manifestation or rapid mindset transformation. That's that. Um, and I think Enye is probably on this call as well. He came to RCP, and this is what he shared. I've got just got to share this. We love this program, and we uh, want you to share uh, your experience. And uh, let's start with what, what did you feel when you heard about a rapid change program? What was your first thought? Uh, I thought it sounded really shady. Um, um, the brief description sounded like everything I needed uh, in my life to help me make this step in my career. It's the bridge of God that I felt was, uh, was there, uh, uh, currently in my career, suddenly so I progress forward. Um, so I, I remember I, I pestered in my plate from doing this really, um, really, really glad that I did. Um, I, I can't, you know, the two days have flown by, obviously, and I know we packed in so much information, so incredible how much we've actually uh, done. I mean, this is the sort of thing I guess that um, they should be teaching on extended business courses or something. But then I don't think a normal money or university school can buy this kind of thing. This, is, this should be kept for really special level of uh, learning, which is exactly what it is. This was a learning on a level uh, unlike anything else I ever had. Um, I've done things like this before, seminars or training sessions. You know, you sort of just drift along with them. But with this, I was really keen to keep along with it. I was excited. And I, 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 I bounced in here this morning on day two. Really looking forward to the day ahead and uh, yeah, now we've come to the end of it. Uh, but so much, so much to take with me that I know it's going to shoot me to the next to the Wow. So round of applause.
Okay. So that's that's any that's that's its experience. Quantum clients conversion course. So um what I'm also gonna give you is the power of persuasion. If you see the top ten percent of successful people, they have this power, it's power of persuasion. Whatever you want to do, if you need other people to build that dream with you, you need the power of persuasion. So I'm not gonna go into the details of that, but that course is the retail price is 1997 and we sold loads of them. So I'm just throwing in that into, into the rapid change program um, because I want you to have a complete transformation. Um, you know, that's in itself, it's a six weeks masterclass, but you have lifetime access to it uh, when you sign up for this program. Um, this is another um, attendee. Um, I'm not gonna play uh, because our time is running out. Um, so you also have uh, two hours of coaching session with me when you sign on. Um, you know, that's, that's a reduced uh, per hour of my coaching. So um, 9.97. So powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. So after the rapid change program, I'm gonna throw you into a breakthrough mastermind group where we come together regularly and help individuals in the group to solve their problems, whether it's business, whether it's personal relation, whatever it is, um, it's a group. I call it, I call that mastermind, my family. Okay, so power of mastermind. Um, let me tell you how powerful that is. Andrew Carnegie made all his money from steel, but he said he didn't know a lot about steel. He, he got all that success from the power of mastermind. So that's how powerful people coming together to solve problem is. Um, Henry Ford said, a business that makes nothing but money is a poor business. And I totally agree with him. I run with that, with that uh, premise, I run with that principle. So, um, so I give people 30 days money back guarantee. You don't need to tell me the reason. If you don't like it, you can get out anytime within 30 days and you still have access to all the information that you've got. So, um, and for those people making decisions right here and now, there is a powerful course, a course self-confidence course. Uh, those who make decision on this webinar uh, to be part of Rapid Change Program, I'm gonna reward them for taking prompt action because I want that to become their habit. Um, so when you got rewarded for doing something, that's the way we train our pets. But trust me, it works for humans <laughs> so you're gonna get that confidence is you the confidence to do what i'm doing now the confidence to uh, stand up and speak in public the confidence to uh, walk up to a woman you like and say you know you know i, I like you you're beautiful the confidence to walk up to a man you like and say mm, nice shoes <laughs> just kidding uh, but there is also the confidence for you uh, to set a goal for the next five years and pursue it um, rigorously until you get it. Um, so it combines those two types of confidence and, you know, absolutely it will blow your mind. So I'm throwing that in for people that are making decisions right now. So let's go get to the next level. Okay, so that's the, that's the, um, that's the cover for the unbreakable law of self-confidence. So um, that's, this is the last uh, testimony I'm gonna play. And the reason why I want to play it is, she said, at this session, a mental block was removed. The moment your mental block is removed, it's like removing engrams. You're free to go and fly and do great things in life. I'll play it for you. Watch out for, you know, listen carefully to what she said.
I know I need to take action on what do I do to take action. So when I spoke, spoke to Mr. when we had conversation and he said he has the training, I said, okay, I'll give you to go. <laughs> and I'm hoping that it will help me to get what I want. Getting here yesterday and today, I can say that uh, the mental block has been removed. Um, I now have a clearer um, goal or way or path, clearer path of where I want to go, which direction that my life would go, as to what really is in my heart to do. So it has really helped me to have a sense of direction. Okay. So, um, so, so I'm not gonna play the full. The full. What I want you to get from that is, a mental block was removed. Imagine what you'd be capable of if you have no limitation placed on what you can do. Um, now, I'm giving you value over seven thousand. Um, uh, but like Henry Ford said. Um, we shouldn't, it shouldn't be about money. Uh, this is not the level at which I'll make money. I want to do this for humanity. I want to do this to transform so many people's lives. And what you're gonna learn from this, you're gonna be able to teach your children, teach your friends, teach your brothers, and get them out of low vibration. That is the kind of change that you want for yourself. So I'm gonna share with you how you can get the course immediately. Uh, if you go on um, mbcconsult.com slash rcp live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in the chat and uh, you can, it's, it will be clickable from there. Um, it's uh, W, okay. I'm going to just type it, www.mbcconsult consult with a k dot com slash rcp live so so that should be clickable um you should be able to click that and get onto the platform and register for people that are doing so on this call they're gonna get my confidence as soon as you finish I'm gonna deliver that confidence course to you in addition to you having access to rapid change course itself which is a six-week course and after that we're gonna uh, set two days aside of boot camp um and that is where we're gonna have fun and you're gonna be together in group and you're gonna solve problems together other people are gonna witness your transformation that is where your transformation is permanent when somebody else is witnessing it that is why if you if you know about aa um AA is not those aa that are picking up your truck when it's broken down <laughs> i'm talking about alcohol anonymous uh those are those people who help people in, uh, that are on drug and that are you know steeped in alcohol, alcoholism, they help them get out of it. The power of AA is in the group. So the power of this transformational work is in the group. If you have 10,000 pounds to pay me, come and coach with me. <laughs> but I want to make this knowledge, this insight available to everyone. That's why I'm putting it out at a ridiculously low price. And what else is you know, some of you may, you know, I, I, I get it. You may not be able to cover out that money even as low as it is. I've even given you the opportunity to break it down into three. When you get on that page, you see the one where you pay as a one of, and then the one where you can pay three times. Um, then, you know, pick, pick the one that is convenient for you. You still get um, my confidence course if you sign up today, if you sign up right now. So I'm going to take questions uh, from you. Um, 
what what are your questions what are you thinking about what do you want to share or what's your comment about what you've heard to date um i want type it in the chat and let me know uh, what you think um and if you have any question um most most people um you know the challenge for them making decision number one is can i afford it that that's that's a legitimate that's a legitimate question um i was watching um tony robbins a few a few weeks back um if you don't know tony robbins maybe you are from mars uh, tony robbins was this phenomenal guy who uh changed millions of people's lives but it you know this guy he didn't go to any school he didn't go to college he didn't go anywhere he just sat down and study and study and study but he also learned from other people when he wanted to attend a course by jim Rohn, his mentor he didn't have the money he said he had to uh, cough out his three month salary to attend a two-day program <laughs> at the time and i'm sure that paid off big time for him and that single seminar that he attended changed his life today he's a billionaire and what does he do he's doing what i'm doing with you today uh you know but to millions and millions of people and that's what i want to do as well is reach out to millions of people and help them uh change their situation um is there any question from you there? Um, le let me have your question so that I can answer them. Um, and the date, the date for the boot camp will be fixed um, after you've registered today. We'll put out the date, um, but you've got to go through the course. Uh, the, the boot camp might happen uh, before you finish the six week course uh, because you have lifetime access to it anyway so it does not matter but the quicker you can go through it the more you can build the foundation uh, for what you want to do so um is there any question from anyone on what we've shared today in general or any question on the course or any question on the rapid change program or any question on the webinar if you have any question uh, let me know some other question I do get sometimes is time. Some people will say, oh, I don't have time. Well, not having time itself is a limitation <laughs> because time, time is a resource, yeah? Um, not having time is a paradigm. It's the habitual way you do things. So if um, I don't like using President Trump, um, and then that do I like uh, Boris Johnson. They give me a good leader of the world. <laughs> Maybe a World Bank president. Uh, let, me, let me use that. World Bank president has, you know, 24 hours, the same as we do. And they do extraordinary things and they still have time to play golf. Yeah. So not having time it, it in itself is a limitation that you must get away from and uh, you know having the time to change the way you behave and cultivate a new habit is really really very powerful and the more powerful thing is uh, you don't want your kids your children your family your nephews you don't want them to uh, you know go through life unaware go through life with ignorance we're not talking ignorance not about reading or writing because there are so many people, Henry Ford had only three months of schooling, Thomas Edison only three, three months of schooling. Um, so it's not about education, it's about people uh, making the determination that they want to do things and they do things promptly, they act promptly, and then they get results. So that's the power of what we're talking about. Um, if anyone is having difficulty with uh, logging onto the system, please do let us know so that we can provide you with support. Um, so those of you uh, who are going to sign up today, uh, as soon as you sign up, please send a message to admin at MBC Consult uh, so that uh, the team will send you the 
self-confidence course. Um, any question from the audience? Any question from anyone? Okay, so if there is no question, I'm just gonna get to the next slide. Okay. Okay, so if you want any, have any information or any message for us, you can send it to admin at mbcconsult.com or, you know, send your message to that number. It's also a WhatsApp number, okay? So that's the end of our program today. Let me leave uh, this link for you to sign up for a rapid change program to change your world. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we'll see if we can, um, I, I don't like sharing webinars, uh, but for those of you that are in here, um, I will see if the webinar is recorded so that we can share it with you. So, all right, thank you very much everyone for joining us. I've got to close it now. Um, is there any final question, opportunity to ask a final question um, or comment? Um, if not, thank you very much for joining us and God bless. Bye for now. We'll be in touch with you with our next program. Thank you. Bye-bye.